Hey guys and girls, how you guys girls doing? Today we're gonna be starting off this Lua tutorial series, all right? And this is gonna be an introduction video on how to just uh, get started, what you need, and what Lua is, and basically what why we need a scripting language. Um, and there are gonna be two different types of tutorials that we're gonna talk about uh, in in two different kind of branching series, right? But before we get started. Uh, please check out the description box. You're gonna have a bunch of good information down there a bunch of links to playlists and other useful things uh, You can follow me on Twitter if you want to know when a when a video comes out and uh, You can uh, check out my support page You can do all that stuff and just drop a like or subscribe if you like the content Otherwise just keep watching. It's all good. I hope you learn something in these series. All right, but let's just get started so Lua is a scripting language and a regular programming language is usually compiled right it's uh, it's kinda you write the code and then it's all compiled converted down to hardware code and and then the computer runs it as an executable but so most of these scripting languages are often interpreted languages so they're not compiled in that way they're more like uh, compiled in real time in a sense they're all they're interpreted so it takes a little more effort to kinda translate all that code in real time but what that gives us is that we don't have to recompile the code in order to um, to run it again if you make changes. So you can make changes in real time and they'll kind of be uh, translated in real time or in runtime, and then you'll see the changes in front of you. So scripting is really good. And often you want to use scripting languages in combination with regular programming languages, right? Higher level programming languages. So an, an example is uh, we're going to be working with C++ and Lua together. So calling Lua from C++ and uh, we'll probably focus on the game aspect and making a game with with these two together was really useful and really powerful tool uh, but you can use it for any kind of application and this other tutorial that I'm gonna do uh, is is just straight up Lua so it's it's not embedded with C++ it's only learning Lua and Lua basics and once you master that you can kind of use that knowledge in in, 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 in another sense, in a embedded type of scenario, like uh, with C++. So let me just get started. So what you want to do, just go ahead for the first type of tutorial where we're just going to learn about Lua. Go ahead and Google Lua for Windows if you're on Windows, right? So you just click here, you go to the GitHub link here, and then 9 releases, and you just download the exe right here Lua for Windows and just install that okay and what that's gonna do is you're gonna get a command line thingy right here like that so if I increase the font here um, let's see properties I just increase the font like that you'll get something like this running alright now if you don't have Lua like if you're on a Mac or something you don't have Lua you probably want to install Lua right and then you're gonna use your regular um, you can you can Google Lua for Mac as well or if you're on Linux you can just type uh, whatever you're on sudo apt get install Lua 5.2 or something like that and you can just Google how to install Lua on on uh, Linux but that's how you do it. you just use your regular sudo apt get install Lua and then you'll get a few options to install one of the Lua thingies, right? And then you can just write Lua and it will actually start off Lua in your command line. Just like that, because you install it, right? So what I did, I just typed Lua and it started off Lua like that. And then this is the environment for Lua. You can write Lua code here, um, kind of in real time and execute it. And you can test stuff out here. This, is how, this isn't how we're really gonna be working with it. We're gonna make files and, and script files and run them from here and uh, that's gonna be a little easier but you can in theory just code Lua right in here right and, and just use Lua here if you want to so if I wanted to quickly check in Lua what the sum of 5 plus 6 is I just write that and then I say print sum and then I'll get 11 see so kinda just easy easy way of using Lua right here so that's one way of doing it and then you want to go into the Lua homepage, Lua.org, and you want to go into learning, and they actually have the first edition uh, book here for you to for you to go through. Now, if you want to buy the book, obviously you can buy the third edition. I think it is is the latest one, uh, the current one, 
Uh, but otherwise, this works fine. It it goes through everything. So we're basically kind of gonna be following this whole thing, and uh, yeah, and learning Lua in one of the tutorials. And the other one, we're gonna use that knowledge and embed it into C++ and make a few examples there. So that's basically it. Now I also want to just point out that Lua is not a object-oriented programming language. Now to do to those of you who are new. To programming I suggest you just go ahead and check out my beginner C++ tutorials first but otherwise I'll uh, C++ is a very object oriented language right it's it's built upon objects and, and t uh, classes and stuff but Lua is not Lua is just straight up just coding right so it's, you gotta do some tricks to kind of mimic it into an object oriented language now this tutorial I'm gonna try to explain as much programming lingo and stuff as I can as we go along in both of the tutorials especially the Lua only tutorial I'm gonna try to kind of cater that to people who haven't programmed that before but don't freak out to all of those who are new right now don't freak out and don't worry too much you'll learn with time just read about general programming stuff and maybe get a C++ book or something like that and try to try to learn as much as you can aside of the videos obviously so uh, but I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can but that's it so we're gonna be starting off with Lua like this and the other tutorial I'll probably start off a little later as we get into this and I hope that will be sufficient I hope that will be good and it's really fun it's a really fun language to work with because it's so easy it's very very easy to work with it's very flexible it's surprisingly flexible and easy so don't don't worry about learning this and then just as a beginner language it's not it's not for that purpose this this you will use probably in your games and your applications and it will make life a lot easier a lot of people use scripting in their applications and you might think it's only C++ only Java only that stuff but it's not it's a lot of scripting and usually it's Python or Lua or some other scripting language but it's there so just remember that uh, but yeah I hope that was enough information for you just go ahead and get these things start reading about Lua and in the next videos we'll start off with the tutorials right so again go check out the description box there's a bunch of links to all this stuff there and uh, uh, pre please drop, drop a like or subscribe if you can if you can't just keep watching and thank you so much for the support for watching and I'll see you guys and girls in the next videos alright bye bye